बॉडी which causes destruction of tissues at 65 degree centigrade 2 seconds are sufficient to produce burns no varieties of burn one of the varieties by a highly heated solid body or a molten metal when applied to the body for a very short time they produce blister and reddening of the part with size and shape to the material used it will cause destruction or even charring of the part when kept in contact for some time Hair cut, stain, twisted, blackish, breaks off, or is totally destroyed. Second type of burn produced by flame. We are may not produce vitrification, but singing of hairs and blackening of the skin are always present. Dry heat causes burns by direct conduction of radiation to the skin. Burns caused by kerosene oil, petrol, etc. are usually severe and produce sooty, blackening of the parts and have a characteristic odor. Burns caused by explosions in coal mines or of gunpowder are usually very extensive and produces blackening and tattooing due to rising of the particles through the unexploded powder into the skin. Burns due to X-ray and radium vary from redness of the skin to dermatitis and shedding of hair and epidermis and pigmentation of the surrounding skin. Severe exposure may produce burns with edema, blistering, or dermatitis. or ulceration with delayed healing and ill form stars fingernails may show degenerative changes and wart like growth intraday teeth may cause necrosis of the skin burns caused by ultraviolet rays and infrared rays produces edema or acute eczematous dermatitis radiant heat burns are caused by exposure to a heat source for example sunburn a type of electromagnetic field Microwave burns are well demarcated. Full thickness burns and are without charring. Electrical burns caused by electricity. Burns from corrosive substances shows ulcerated patches and are usually free from blisters. Strong acids produces dark, leathery burns upon the skin. Strong alcohol causes the skin to sludge and leave moist, slimy, grayish areas. Now degree of burns. Dupuytren divided. It Burns into six degree, but Wilson burns them to three degrees. First degree is epidermal burn. The affected part is erythematous. There is capillary dilatation and transudation of fluid into the tissues, causing swelling. A split may occur in the epidermis or at the epidermal dermal junctions to form a blister, which is covered by white avascular epidermis, bordered by red hyperlipid T-skin, usually five to twenty mm across. The base is bright red and burst. Singing of the hair is present. The blister contains gas and fluid contains protein. When epidermis is lost, the dermis become reddened, inflamed, and exudes plasma and tissue fluids. These burns are very painful. Repair is complete without scar formation. Second one is dermo epidermal. Uh, the third and fourth degree of dermatitis. Burns. Whole thickness of the skin is destroyed with destruction of the dermal appendages. The central zone of necrotic tissues is surrounded by first degree burns or a zone of hyperemia or both. These burns appear as shriveled, depressed area of coagulated tissues, bordered by reddish blistered skin. The lesions may be brown or black due to charring and scar formation. The necrotic tissues. Separates usually within a week and leaves an ulcer which heals with scar formation. Contraction of the scar tissue may produce disfigurement or impaired functions according to the site and size of the burns. 
pain and shock are greater than in first degree burns. The deep burns. In this, there is a gross destruction not only of the skin and subcutaneous tissues but also of muscles and even bones. Nerve endings are also destroyed and as such the burns are relatively painless, the appearances are similar to those of the second degree but in a more severe form. This session is powered by Digital version 2.0, Jyoti Vidya Pitt, University. Hope you are satisfied with my digital session. If you have any query, please mention in the comment box. I will resolve it. Thank you.